Okay friends, today we'll start the unit number 5 that is Digital Cellular Standards IS 95 and CDMA 2000. What is the full form of IS? IS is Interim Inter IM Standard 95 and CDMA is Code Division Multiple Access 2000. These are the two standards comes under this Digital Cellular Standards. And the first point we'll see, we'll cover today. We'll cover the two points. One is uh, frequency and channel specification of IS95, and uh, second point we'll cover fr uh, frequency and channel uh, forward and reverse uh, channel of IS95. And in this frequency and channel specification of IS95, the three MCQs will arise. In this, there are mainly three MCQs will arise. We'll discuss it. And uh, the frequency and channel specification of IS-95, the full form of IS is Inter-IM Standard 95. Okay. In this we are using the two links. One is forward link, one is a reverse link. And this forward link is also a up, uh, up link. And the reverse link is a down link. Okay. The forward link is from base station to mobile station. And the reverse link is from uh, mobile station to base station. In the diagram you are seeing that there are two links one is forward link one is reverse link and the frequency band between the forward link and reverse link are different and then for the frequency band for forward link is 869 megahertz to 894 megahertz and the reverse link it is a frequency band is of 824 megahertz to 849 megahertz. I, I told you three MCQs will arise the first MCQ is the frequency band for forward link is that is 869 megahertz to 894 megahertz you have to keep in mind this mcq and the frequency band for reverse link is 824 megahertz to 849 megahertz so these are the two first two mcqs will arise and one more mcq is what the separation between the forward link and the reverse link is of 45 megahertz the separation between the forward link and the reverse link is of 45 megahertz and the guard space is of 25 megahertz these are the three mcqs will arise in this the frequency band for forward link is of 869 megahertz to 894 megahertz and the reverse link is the frequency band is of 824 megahertz to 849 megahertz and the separation between the forward and reverse link is of 45 megahertz and the guard space of 25 megahertz these are the free mcqs will arise the most of the times he has asked for four marks this question the frequency and channel specification of is 95 and the mcqs will comes on this basis okay don't be confused the first comes is reverse link and the second comes is forward link you have to Remember in this the frequency band of this value 869, 894 and 824 to 849 and the separation between this is 45 megahertz and the guard space is of 25 megahertz. Similarly the explanation has given the IS95 consists of two links one is forward link one is reverse link. Two links one is forward link one is reverse link and the forward link that is from base station to mobile station it is also called as up link the forward link is from that is from base station to the mobile station the frequency band is of 869 megahertz to 894 megahertz okay and the similarly for a reverse link that is from mobile station to base station the frequency band is of 824 megahertz to 849 megahertz okay these two are very important for this and the one more MCQ is of the separation between the forward and the reverse link is of 45 megahertz. So the separation between the forward and the reverse link is of 45 megahertz with the guard space of 25 megahertz. Okay. These are the three main concepts comes under frequency and channel specification of IS95. And the one more important point is what? The maximum user data rate is of 9.6 kbps. The maximum user data rate is of 9.6 kbps. If you convert this kbps into BB, uh, bits per second, that is 9600 bits per second. That is a user maximum user data rate that is of 9600 bits per second or 9.6 kilobits per second. And one more point in the forward and reverse link, the different modulation techniques and the spreading techniques have been used in each link. 
it means in the forward link we are using the different modulation technique and in the reverse link we are using the different spreading techniques the in forward and reverse link which are the different modulation techniques you are on you, you know that the modulation technique in analog modulation techniques am fm and pm that is amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation these are the three modulation techniques you are using for analog modulation and digital modulation that is ask fsk and psk that is amplitude shift keying frequency shift keying and phase shift keying and qpsk quarter shift phase shift keying these are the different modulation techniques we are used in forward and reverse link one of the technique is used in forward link even of the technique is used in reverse link and the spreading technique the spreading technique is nothing but orthogonal frequency division multiple axis these are the spreading technique that is single carrier orthogonal frequency division multiple axis these are the different spreading techniques we are used in a forward and reverse link this is what the concept of different modulation techniques are used in forward link and the different modulation technique is used in reverse link and the different spreading technique are used in forward link and the different spreading techniques are used in reverse link this is what the explanation two codes are used in forward and reverse link that is of wash code and the pn sequence code and this wash code is used as a reference for all the base station always this wash code that is of w0 is used as a reference for all the base station or all the mobile station and the pn sequence code is can be used to support for all the mobile station that can be used as a pn sequence code so two codes are used in forward and reverse link that is of wash code and pn sequence code and in this forward and reverse link we are using the open loop closed system and the uh, closed loop system for uh getting the more and more data we are using open loop closed system and uh closed loop closed system this is what the concept of frequency and channel specification of is not you have to remember the frequency band of this reverse forward link and the frequency band of reverse link and the separation between the forward and reverse link is of 45 megahertz this is the frequency and channel specification of is 95 we'll see the second topic of this unit that is very important unit that will last for 8 marks the forward and reverse channel of is 95 forward and reverse channel of is 95 first we'll see the forward channel and second we'll see the reverse channel the forward channel of is 95 that is of downlink downlink is nothing but that is from mobile station to base station that forward link that is of is 95 the bandwidth is of 1.23 megahertz this forward link consists of mainly the four types of channels consists of mainly the four types of channels one is pilot channel one is synchronization channel one is paging channel and last is of traffic channel these are the mainly four types of channels used in a forward link that is of is 95 one is pilot one is synchronization one is paging one is traffic and this pilot channel will have a wash code of 0 it can be used as a reference for all the mobile stations the synchronization channel will have a wash code from w8 to w65 and the paging channel will have a eight channels that is from 0 to 7 okay these are the mainly four channels we are using in forward link that is you have to remember we'll see one by one channel that is pilot channel <coughs> the pilot channel is a reference channel it can be used as a, a reference channel it uses the mobile station to acquire a time and as a phase reference for chorus modulation the pilot channel can be used as a reference for all the mobile stations and they are using the two codes one is wash code and one is pn sequence code and this wash code is also used as a reference for all the codes, uh, all the mobile station that is of w0 it is wd0 is nothing but the reference for all the mobile station and the pn sequence code can be used to support that mobile station that is that is from w w65 whatever it is it is to acquire the time and as a phase reference for coherence modulation it is continuously transmitted by each station on each frequency each 
mobile station tracks this signal continuously whenever you are change uh, whenever you are sending the any signal it continuously uh, track the signal which where it is coming from everything will be done by uh, pilot channel this is a function of pilot channel the second channel is of synchronization channel synchronization channel carries a single a repeating messages which give the information about the time and system configuration to the mobile station it is also coming from the base station to the mobile station it has to be synchronized with the different number of bts whenever the user is changing the locations it has to be uh, it has to be synchronized with different bts different frequency bands depending on the frequency band it is going to synchronize if the operator the user is using the uh, frequency band f1 with the bts1 but he has changing the location from bts1 to bts2 the but the operating frequency is f2 the synchronization channel has to be synchronized with the bts2 with the frequency f2 that function will be done by a synchronization channel the synchronization channel it requires the system identification and network time and anything will be done by synchronization channel which gives the information about the time at what time the system time is uh, synchronized with that channel and the system configuration to the mobile station the mobile station can have exact system time by the mean of synchronization with the code whenever you are going to make a call there is a one code is always generated for randomly if you are calling for 100 times there are number of 100 codes will be generated so that will be synchronized with the different bts that function will be done by synchronization channel and the second third third channel is a paging channel a paging channel is nothing but it has to be broadcast uh, repetitive messages that is paging channel the main objective is to send out pages pages is nothing but number of sms's that is notification of incoming call to the mobile station the base station uses these pages to transmit system overhead information and ms specific messages what it means the paging channel is nothing but when your mobile is in silent mode it is not active okay if it is in silent mode if it is not active if anyone wants to if anyone makes a call the first the channel is arise is of a paging channel without paging channel we you can't receive a call and you can't make a call so paging channel is required for receiving and making a call so at whenever you get a call if you want to receive that call that call you received by using the paging channel that function will be done by a paging channel the last channel is a forward traffic channel a forward traffic channel is nothing but traffic is nothing but you see that uh, it is a voice traffic it is a video traffic these are the different types of traffics these are the code channels it is used to assign the calls usually voice and signaling traffic to the individual users whenever you are uh, sending any voice messages whenever you are sending any videos these are the carrying by the traffic channel that traffic channels will be reached to the other end of the user that function will be done by the traffic channel the traffic channel when the uh, dedicated control channel has been released the traffic channel has been released till the end of the conversation of call this traffic channel will be present to carry the voice and video to the individual users that will be done by traffic channel this is what the concept of forward channel of is95 there are mainly the four channels are present in this one is pilot one is synchronization one is paging and one is traffic you have to remember only four channels are present in forward link that is of down link and the second link is second channel is reverse channel of is95 forward you have said reverse channel of is95 is of uplink uplink that is reverse channel of is95 that is of 1.23 the bandwidth remains same that is 1.23 megahertz only two channels are used in this that is of reverse channel one is access channel one is traffic channel access channel and traffic channel what is meant by access channel we'll say access channel is used by mobile station to establish 
a communication with base station whenever you want to make a call that is to be communicate with base station and to answer the paging channel messages the access channel is used for short signaling messages exchange such that call ups response to messages and registration whenever you may want to make a call you have to access the network that access will request will goes to the base station and the base station will send the request to the bts and bts will send request to the B msc the msc will send a uh, channel to the requesting user who request the service and once the request has been uh, granted that the one channel is released that is dedicated control channel all this will be done by the access channel if you want to access any network you need a access channel and the last channel is of reverse traffic plan channel reverse traffic channel is used by the individual users in their actual cost to transmit a traffic from a single mobile station to one or more base station means what this traffic channel has to carry the one or more uh, information to the um, one or more information from mobile station to the number of uh, more more number of base station that is what the concept of traffic channel with the means is what in the forward and reverse link of is 95 one is forward link is consist of mainly the four channels one is pilot synchronization paging and traffic channel and the reverse link is consist of only two channels one is access channel and one is traffic channel you have to remember these four channels pilot synchronization paging and traffic for forward link and for the reverse link only two channels are present one is access channel and one is reverse traffic channel okay thank you